everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Unicorn Remy, and today we're gonna show you stretches for sore shoulders after a workout or starting an exercise routine. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So for the shoulder stretches, you don't really need any extra equipment for these. So we're gonna start off with a posterior capsular stretch or some people just call it arm across the body. So your shoulder has a capsule and so it can get really tight and sore when you're starting a new program or you're just working out and haven't in a while or maybe you did a little too much at the gym. So when those sore muscles, I like to start off with a posterior capsular stretch. So all you're doing is putting your arm straight out and bringing it across your body. I I like to kind of bring my other arm up to give it just a gentle pull. Some people like to do it on the elbow. I like to keep my arm fairly straight when I'm doing this stretch, but you can bend it if that straightening out of the elbow is uncomfortable. So just coming across, I'm feeling that that stretch on the back side, that posterior side there, and just getting that nice stretch. So you're gonna hold that stretch for 30 seconds, and then most likely both shoulders are sore, so then you're gonna alternate and stretch on the other side there. Um, sometimes, depending on your shoulder stability, you might feel a little pop when you're bringing it over like this. As long as it's not painful, that's usually not that big of a deal. That's just that joint moving around. So 30 seconds on each side, uh, three times each. And if you wanna follow along in some real-time videos, where I'm doing the whole 30 seconds for each one. I have a whole lot of real-time videos that you can check out in that link up there. So then the next one is just gonna be a bicep stretch. So a lot of times when you're starting those workouts, you're doing a lot of those bicep curls and those muscles get really sore. So you can do this a couple different ways. I'm just gonna turn at an angle because if you're really sore, uh, you probably don't need anything to hold on to. But if you're sitting in a chair where you can kind of pull through and hold on to something like the edge, that works well too. But you can also just place your hand behind you. You want that arm to be straight because that's putting that bicep muscle and the, those tendons kind of on um, tension. And so if you're really sore, just putting it back like this, I'm getting just a little bit of a stretch there. But if I want more, I'm just going to kind of drive that shoulder forward like this. So I'm pushing it forward to get that extra stretch because those tendons come all the way up here and then they come down to the elbow and cross that elbow. So really just getting that stretch, kind of leaning forward. If I was holding onto the back of something, then I'm really kind of pulling like that. But even just holding like this, I can feel that nice stretch through there. But again, try and keep that elbow straight because if it's bent, since it crosses right here, then that's not getting as much of a stretch. So keeping that arm straight as much as you can at that elbow is really what's going to help get that stretch in there. So again, just kind of leaning forward. I'm almost pushing my hand down a little bit into the surface um, just to get that extra stretch. So again, 30 seconds, three times on each side for that. So then the next one is gonna be a tricep stretch or an inferior capsular stretch. So this is for the capsule, this is for the tricep muscles as well, because again, when you're working out and doing all that stuff and your shoulder's sore, these are the, mu the big muscles around your shoulder to get those nice stretches. So for the triceps, you're just gonna bring your arm up, kind of bend it and place your hand, I like to say just kind of on that shoulder blade back there. So it's just kind of resting there. Um, and you wanna try and get that elbow as high up as you possibly can without a whole lot of pain. So if you're sore, it might be right here, um, but the higher you can get, the better. And then you can take your other hand just kind of behind your head and grab that elbow and just gently pull back a little bit. So I'm getting that nice stretch in those, those tricep muscles right there, um, getting that nice stretch. And again, um, since it's on the other side of the elbow, you want to bend that elbow because that's going to put the stretch on the tendons and the muscles. So just again, going to when you're stretching a little bit of tension slightly uncomfortable but not pain. Uh, you want to be able to hold that 30 seconds without feeling like you need to bring it down as quickly as you can. So again, 30 seconds, three times on each side because most of the time uh, if you're sore from a workout, you probably really want to uh, stretch out both sides even if one side's a little more sore than the other. So the next one is just going to be a chest stretch or a pec stretch because again, these have to do with the shoulder. All these muscles go in there. The shoulder blade or that scapula has over 20 muscles attached to it. So this is just touching the surface of it. But a lot of times those pec muscles, you know, you're doing those presses and stuff, you get them really sore when you're doing a workout. So an easy one to do without having to find a corner to stretch or anything is just to take your hands, kind of clasp them behind your back, and then you're going to push back 
and then kind of bring your chest forward. So I'm pushing down and back and then pushing that chest forward and I'm getting that nice stretch through there. I've had a couple people comment in the past, what if I can't clasp my hands together behind me and maybe I've, I've got some big musculature back there or something. Um, you can take a towel. So just hold the towel so your hands aren't as close together and still do that stretch. So even if I just kind of push my hands back here, I'm feeling that chest stretch. But if you can get them closer, even if it's still on a towel and just get them as close as you can. That's going to be the better stretch. But you can use a towel or um, you know a strap or something just to hold it back like this and get that stretch. So again, doing that three times for that nice full stretch in there. And then the next one is just going to be a rhomboid stretch. Those rhomboid muscles are the ones that kind of pull those shoulder blades together um, when you're doing things in the gym like rows or something on those machines. Those are the muscles you're working kind of in that upper mid back area. You can do this again a couple different ways. You can put your legs all the way out if you're on the floor or on the couch or a bed, but you can also just do it sitting. You'll still get a good stretch, but a lot of times if you put your legs out, that gives you a better stretch. So again, now you're clasping your hands in, your, in the front of you. You're gonna punch forward, you're gonna tuck your chin down, and then kind of arch your back behind you, almost like you're making a C with your body. So I'm punching forward, tucking in, and really just kind of making that arch in my back to get that curve, that kind of C curve back there. And the more you tuck in your chin, I'm not tucking mine in a whole lot so you can hear me a little bit better, um, but uh, the more you can kind of get that curve in there, the more you're gonna stretch those rhomboid muscles in the back. And so again, holding that stretch for 30 seconds, doing that three times. So there you have it. Those were stretches for sore shoulders after a workout or starting an exercise routine. If you'd like to help support my channel and become a paid member, you can click on the join button or click, click on the link in the description below. I know you'll get extra perks, sneak peeks, and a whole lot of fun other stuff. So remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.